Forgive us, Father, for we are about to sin and be very naughty boys. It's I Jeremy Voigt. I don't like anything you just said. Dude, the fact that they made him His Peruvian name is John. in this movie, <laughs> that's the part that got you? <laughs> There's a lot that gets me, but it was the only thing I was decided to focus on. Well, you know Actually, what they say, bring up Brandon. a good question. Did you think his name was Jeremy? No, I know his name's not Jeremy. It's John Voigt. You thought you know he that, was uh, Asian for a while, so... I didn't think he was Asian. I knew he was Hispanic. I just said it to fuck with him. <laughs> Did y'all know that that's uh, Angelina Jolie's dad? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I definitely can see it. They they look very similar. True. I they have very similar you know, faces. Ugly as thin. You take that back. Angelina Jolie is beautiful. Brandon, that was the most sad thing I've ever uh, heard you say. Angelina Jolie can be beautiful, but she's got so much plastic in her face now. Ooh, my favorite role she was what? ever in was when she was in Beowulf. Oh, I did like her in Beowulf. Because it was all CGI'd, and I didn't have to look at her for a real person. That is awful. And she had golden glistening boobs. What was uh, Taking Lives? Was that the one she was in? What? Was Taking Lives the movie she was in? She was in know. Wanted. She was, was Wanted the one, the one where she they was the also in it. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yeah, that's where she broke up a marriage. She also had uh, Billy Bob Thornton inside of her, so that really knocks it down a couple of pegs for attractiveness, you know, in my uh, opinion. When she was with Billy Bob Thornton, they carried, they had a vial of each other's blood on a chain at all times. Well, that's kind of sweet. I always love how weird Billy Bob Thornton is. I find it uh i find it very endearing <clears throat> i find, I him find less it less terrifying the older he gets i find well, it endearing. is it because you feel like he's kind of like always been old and now you're just kind of like oh yeah that's just bob <laughs> so yeah, did, you guys, go, did you guys did you guys there was this uh there was a, a a movie premiere that him and angelina Jolie together too uh when yeah, they were dating good. i don't i don't I don't remember what the premiere was, but all I remember was they were doing it. He was doing an interview on on the red carpet, and he's telling some uh, TV reporter like, "Yeah, we fucked on the way on the car on the car ride over here." And yeah, you know, right. when I was like seven and I heard this interview, I was like, "Wow, how were they driving while they were having <clears> sex?" <throat> uh, it wasn't until much later that I realized. But the best part of that interview was John Voigt was standing right behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of dumb things that you believed when you were a kid, um, my I forget exactly what it was. We were um, we were watching the news and someone had died in like a drunk driving accident, and I was like, "Mom, what happened? Like, what? Like, how did that happen?" They're like, "They are drinking while driving," and then didn't explain anything else to me. <laughs> 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 And I remember we were driving to church one Sunday, and my mom's just sitting there with a like a bottle of water. <laughs> I got <laughs> really upset. Mom, no! You slap it out of her hand. She careens off the road. Mama, I just looked at my mom, and I was like, "Are are you are you trying to tell us something?" And my mom was like, "What are you talking about?" And I was like, "Well, you said those other people died in a car because they were drinking and driving and." You're just going to town on that water. And that's when your mom realized that she was raising a dumbass. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I just like grade school. Didn't clar- well, then she continued to not clarify. That's I, like to think, that part. I like to think that, like, young Brandon's like, Mom, no! <gasps> Slaps the bottle out of her hand. She causing her to jerk the wheel suddenly, careening <laughs> off the road, bifurcating the car around a tree, and you get out, dust yourself on. That's what she gets for drinking and driving, I guess. Well, that and it creates an insane phobia of drinking in a car. My mom was also the kind of person that would be painting uh, her nails on the way to church. Oh, door. And so, I'd just be sitting there in the front seat, and I'm like, huh, is today the day? <laughs> oh, well, guess fuck me in my life, right? Maybe that's why I'm kind of more aware of, like, life can just end at any moment. Because I'm like, huh, I'm amazed that I didn't die. Right. Oh my God! So, did I, okay. 
sticking oh, sorry, along with this, like things that kids believe when they were in grade school, my brother came home from school really upset one day and my older and my sister was like, well, why, why are you so, uh, what's wrong? What's, why are you so upset? And he goes, some kid gave me the finger today. And my sister went two weeks thinking that someone gave my older brother like a severed human finger. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry. Speaking of things that kids don't understand. So I've talked about my oldest nephew a lot, but I've never really had any stories to share about my middle nephew. Uh-huh. And I am so fucking happy about this one. So um as 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 you guys know, the Easter Bear will be moving to our to our channel. And uh my 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 nephews now know this and and um we were we were sitting around the table playing uh, I think we're playing Monopoly and uh, just talking about ideas about what I'm going to do for our Easter video, which I'm going to be filming this weekend. And um, my oldest nephew's like, hey, you should give the Easter bear a theme song. And my my young, my middle nephew's like, yeah, like like uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. But for the Easter bear, you know, like he sees you when you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't get ahead of me. It gets better. He sees you when you're sleeping. He's sleeping with your mom. And all of, all of the adults in the room died laughing. Because <laughs> we knew what he meant was innocent. Like, we knew that he meant, well, oh, yeah. most of us. We knew that he just meant, like, he's laying in bed with your mom. Except for my oldest, my sister, who's their parent, her, who's their mom. She thought that he meant what we think of when we say that. <laughs> So I'm literally, this was coming off of the worst fucking week I've had in a long time. Like just, I was in the worst mood and I hear him saying that. And I'm also fucking drunk as shit, laughing my ass off. And I'm like, I'm, I'm on the, I'm literally on the floor crying and convulsing because it's so funny. <laughs> my older sister is like, like she was laughing so hard. She was farting. <laughs> that's oldest, always the best my oldest sister is trying so hard to be angry and not like be like laughing about this because she thinks that her son meant something inappropriate and so we're all laughing and he's sitting there like why is everyone what's so funny like i was <laughs> yeah, exactly because here's the thing is it's like so one of the tropes that i do with the the easter bear stuff is is his like one of his things that he'll say is like you know slide me 50 bones and i'll bone your mom they don't, the kids don't know what the fuck that means. The kids just think I'm saying funny words. So, um, when, he, when we, when we finally calm down and catch our breath, we're like, that means that he's having, you know, sexual, he's doing sexual things with your mom. And he mm -hmm. had like a full on, like, he just broke down <laughs> weeping. And I'm like, Tony, you realize you just fucked that kid's whole life up, man. <laughs> Like, yeah, you're like, now oh, the bad guy. Like, Tone, you could have just, like, let it go. But then I was like, wait, then he would go to school singing that. And that may would make it even better. And so I started laughing again. And, God, it was just, like, we wasted, like, 20 minutes just trying to stop laughing from that. Uh, I don't think of it as a waste. So, naturally, okay. uh, the Easter Bear is going to have a new theme song. Uh... He... uh... Are you going to get him to sing it? No, God, no. I've already told, I've already had to break the news to them that they're not going to be making future Easter Bear stuff because <laughs> our channel's not targeted towards kids. No. Um, but but yeah. yeah. The Easter Bear never was. The Easter Bear wasn't, but it was innocent. The, that's why I chose the verbiage I did was because it was oh, never. No, no, no. I'm very aware. Yeah, but now that it's coming over to the other channel, like, I don't give a fuck. Hey, slide me, slide me fifty dollars, and I'm gonna fuck your mom. Oh, bear season's gonna be so different this year. Yeah, speaking of, I'm filming on on uh, bear season. I'm filming on Sunday, but season. Uh, duck season, bear season. So I uh, I was at the I was at Walmart the other day picking up supplies. My nephew was with me because you know he he does come up with a lot of the ideas for the Easter bear stuff, and um, on he's purpose? like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows. He he's very much a, a help with that. But he's like, right. uh, so I had a thing of uh, I just got a cheap one of those cheap bags of plastic eggs, right? 
and I'm like, I'm going to, you know, put some cigarettes in one of them, put like a shot, <laughs> a shot of some sort in the other. And he's like, I'm more worried weird. about where you're going to hide them. I'm not actually going to hide them. Mm. I'm going to anyway. So um, my nephew, my nephew's tagging along. He's like, Hey, you know, it'd be really funny. I'm like, uh, what bud he's like and i'm thinking he's gonna say something like you know if you put like a a twinkie in one of the eggs so when you open it up it's all mangled and stuff and i'm like because honestly i was gonna do that anyway but he's like you know it'd be really funny as if you just filled up one of the eggs with a bunch of white powder and i'm like (laughs) oh i look at at this sweet 14 year old boy and i'm like i'm sorry what and he's like yeah i don't know i just think it'd be really funny if you filled it up filled one of them up with white powder i'm like he's funny why another, bud? another one's just filled with oregano well no i'm like i'm like <laughs> why would that be funny though and he's like uh, he's like uh, uh i don't I, I don't know i just I, I just think it'd be funny if there was just one randomly filled up with white powder i'm like bud why are you fucking with him no no i knew what he was saying i, I didn't know. I know what he's saying though he no no that's i i was like i was like dude are you making a reference to cocaine right now he's like uh don't tell mom. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> like, dude, I'm gonna tell your mom because it's funny as shit. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, it's not but, a, but also, just because you reference cocaine doesn't mean you do cocaine. <laughs> no, I know, and I was just like, I was like, just be careful. Be, be, be fucking careful. Who you say that too. Also, be careful where you decide to try and float that idea. Because if you decide <laughs> to do a Easter bear sketch around, like, I don't know, say a government building, white powders mean different things there. Yeah, could be anthrax. Yeah, much more murdery things. God, love the kids. So, are we um, sure the wise men who brought frankincense and myrrh weren't just trying to sign Mary up for their essential oils pyramid scheme? Are we sure that the guys that that showed up with gold, frankincense, and myrrh weren't just Mary's baby daddies? Are we sure they weren't just like out for a walk and then they were like, "Oh God, damn it, we got roped in." Are you sure that those guys didn't just think that Mary puts out to whoever shows up? Are we sure? Are we sure that uh, that Mary wasn't there, like looking up at this strong African king and being like, "What the fuck am I doing with Joseph?" Are we sure that Joseph wasn't getting real nervous when his quote unquote pregnant virgin wife was approached by three big strapping men? I don't know if I'd say they were strapping. They're kings, man. No, he said strap on From Africa. Ah, they were. Oh. No, they're they strapping. were they were they were kings from the east. That's from at, the east? Were, I thought they were from uh I thought they were from no. like um God, what's the name? like the Monaco area. No, they're yeah. a they're they were of the Orient as it says. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, the song, the song goes We three kings of Orient come, not we three Moroccan kings. So I saw this thing that made me laugh my ass off today. It was a, it's a comic. It's, I finally completed my love potion. Once I slip this into Brenda's drink, she'll finally love me. A oh. little bit later. A little bit later. Hey, I'm going to go out for a bit, Brenda. Okay, Eric. So I was just thinking, I know I've always forbidden this, but I think you can start calling me mom now. Okay, buddy? Oh. And the, last panel is, the last panel is just this little kid <clears throat> crying with joy. Oh my god. <laughs> that uh that took some turns I did not see coming. I love it. Uh, way darker. I just way start darker. off with a potion and Jeff's like, "Oh no. Oh, this is going to be bad." No, instead well, it's No, 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 no. Bad. No, no. You sa- you started off with I'm going to put something in a woman's drink so she'll finally love me. And it's like, "Oh, that's not where you thought does, it was going. Do some people think that a roofie is a love potion? What's well, how <laughs> Mark thought that it was going to work out for him and Aaron? <laughs> what? I, I, I just thought of... So, yeah, all right, uh, the Sleepy Boys are going to be going and hitting up the bar. And, uh, yeah, we're going to, you know, <clears throat> we want to get Mark <laughs> back into the dating scene. And uh, we just see Mark walk up to girls with a napkin and be like, does this smell like chloroform? <laughs> No, no, Mark, no. 
What's up, guys? Sleepy Boys <clears throat> live casting from such and such bar tonight. Hey, where's Mark? And you just see him dragging. A, you just see me dragging a limp body to across the floor. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm gonna be taking off a little bit early. Oh, that's how he came up with the name for the podcast. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, oh man. Um. <laughs> all right then. All right, Jeff. Well, have a good oh. night, bud. I'm going to call it. Guys. Yeah, um, no. Monday? No, uh, you said not Monday. I'm not free. If you guys want to still record, let me know. I'll get it up and running. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Viewing Monday. Me, I'm sorry, guys. Our first He's kicking kick balls. Whoever first <clears throat> kicked that game. Be Look, honest, you can Mark. Just say you're going is the on real a date. reason? It's fine. Is the real I'm reason not, you're pushing not. back the move because of the kickball? Uh, <laughs> No, he kickball. found his true calling in his life, and he's actually like an amazing athlete. No, it's just uh, this is actually the only game we have that's on a Monday. So he's weird. actually their pinch hitter, and he's just able to slug it out of the park when the base. No, 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 are no. Loaded. It's not that he slugs it out of the park; it's that he's able to hit a line drive to whoever he wants right in the face each time. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I am pretty fucking good at kickball. Got runners on first and third, or with first and fucking, second. With Mark knocks free out the first base legs that you have. Yeah, boy, I, you better be able to smack the shit out of a ball. All right, so the so the game ended with a score of thirty-seven to nothing. Uh, the game didn't actually go for all nine endings. It's just that none of the other players were able to stand after being hit in the face <laughs> so goddamn many times with the ball. Mark eventually got kicked out of the game Mark when he's turning towards the crowd and just kicking it into the stands to knock I'm people just, out. I'm just pulling a Babe Ruth and pointing to the stands across the field. It's that. It's that. Or well, the opposing team had to uh, had to forfeit today since none of their players could stand anymore. You see a bunch of guys just holding their junk and Mark getting led away in cuffs. It's called kickball. Damn it. There's some guy that came up and, like, is carrying his own leg out because Mark just ripped it off. <laughs> Mark's just, just a nile on everyone's crotch. In other news, we have sad, we have a, we do have a sad, uh, obituary to read. Jeremy, Re Jeremy Reigns was, uh, well, his head exploded as the ball made a collision with his face. <laughs> Mark hits somebody in the groin so hard it undid their vasectomy and now is having to pay charge. <laughs> Um, because oh, um, he had an one, unwanted uh... child because he didn't know it came undone. So Mark <laughs> actually has to pay child support now. <laughs> hey guys, if you just can't get enough of Sunrise with the Sleepy Boys, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at SR Sleepy Boys, or you can check out our YouTube channel, Sunrise with the Sleepy Boys. You can also find us on Spotify, Radio Public, Anchor, Breaker Radio, and coming soon, Apple Podcasts.